Hi friends, so I just got back from a thrift store and I was unpacking my car and I have so much stuff that I literally like sat down on my porch because I was like, I'm old and I need a break. But then I was like, you know, it'd be really fun. I have a huge bin of shoes because the shoe bags kept breaking. And I was like, why don't we do kind of a vlog style? So I'm going to take you guys along. I'm gonna show you all the shoes I got. So of course we're gonna do a haul because I, I think that's what I personally like seeing. So I'm assuming you guys like to see that too. But then when we're done with the haul for the shoes, I will bring you guys along. I'll show you how I kind of clean them, spruce them up, photograph, and how I start getting them listed. So here is my giant bin. Yes, there is my dead plant that the summer killed and it is now fall and I need to replace it with a mum. But here is my giant bin of shoes. I have women's shoes, I have kids' shoes, I have some men's shoes. So I've got a little bit of everything in there. So let's get this inside. I don't know if you can hear it, but it just started raining. Like, I barely got everything in from my car in time. So while I get the shoes inside, don't forget to subscribe and let's get going. So first things first, I look a little bit different and had a wardrobe change since you saw me like two seconds ago for you because like any good nursing mama, I had spit up everywhere. So here we are, but we are back and here is our pair of shoes. As you can see, I also have these two giant bags. Like this is a full trash bag plus another little bag of the clothes I got at this thrift stop. So if that's another video you would like to see, we can certainly do a haul for that stuff, but let's get set up. I am going to show you guys all the shoes I have in this bin. And I'm really excited because it all happened so quick. I don't necessarily remember what all I got. So I'm going to kind of figure it out with you. Okay, so I literally just plopped down on the floor and we're just gonna dig through this bin today. So in the store, they mark everything by color and they do discount days, which is great because the Goodwills near me don't do any discount days. And this is just a, a privately run, I think, thrift store. And they were doing a four color discount day sale in celebration of Labor Day. So I saw it, it popped up on my feed and I was like, I have got, got to hit up this sale. And I got a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. The shoes are spread out throughout the store. So I filled my cart with like shoes first and then had to like edit just so I could even put all the clothes on top. But all right, let's just start going here. I will tell you guys um, the prices as I go. These are a pair of super cute Circus by Sam Edelman shoes, um, one of his lines. And I love these. I'm actually in the market for some like black strappy sandals right now, but these are not my size. These are in a size eight and a half and they write on them, which is kind of hard to see. Sometimes it's frustrating. You have no idea what it says, but you know, we try. Um, and it has a Y there, which means yellow. That was a yellow tag. So this is 696 yellow. So these were about 350. So the four colors, I will pop a picture up here. They do it by balloons. That's how you know what the colors are. They were yellow, green, blue, and pink, I think. Was I right? Right, next is a pair of Steve Madden flats. I love like the metallic studding on these is really pretty. Um, I love that Steve Madden has the style name right in the shoes. So these are the Eros and are a 7B. These are a PU upper, so it's a faux leather, not real leather. Steve Madden consistently sells between like 20 and 35 for me, depending on the style and if I'm willing to take, you know, an, a lower offer, if I want to hold out a little bit longer, but it's very, very consistent seller for me. These, see, look, like it's, it's so hard to see what that says and it might be backwards for you guys, but it says $3.93 pink. So these were basically $2. Next is a brand that I love to sell, but I have never been able to pick up the shoes, and that is Torrid. Torrid clothing for me has one of the best sell-through rates, um, and I guess we'll see how the shoes do, but these are in such good condition. These are also a size 11.5 WW, so I'll have to look that up, but I'm assuming that means it's like a really, really wide width, which is great. So if somebody needs that, it probably might be harder to find in stores, in which case they'll go to the resale market and pop over hopefully to either my Poshmark closet or eBay um, store to look for something like this. 
are these were 494 green so they were about 250. all right next is a brand that i pass on all the time but i loved these like knit clog mules um and they're lined inside these are mucklucks and they are a size 37. all of the shoes that i have listed that look like this have sold like fairly quickly. Um, I think I have like one pair of just leather ones right now. I think they're like Clark's, um, but I've listed them fairly recently, but I think those are the only ones I even have available. These, oh, and it does say US size seven. So yeah, these, these would fit me. These were 696 green, so 350 with the sale. All right, I gotta move a little bit quicker through these guys. So this isn't a super long video because I want you guys to see a little bit of how I clean them and all of that. Um, so these are just, you know, a tried and true kind of Nike. These are the Revolution um, size 3.5 youth, just were in really good condition and they had their kids shoes marked really low. So these were 292 green. So that means they were like $1.50 for these. Those Nikes for me in like the kids youth, usually I'll get between like 20 and 30 if they're a really good style, maybe a little bit more. These were one of the favorite things that I found. I love this espadrille. They're in amazing condition. This is real suede leather on the top and it's like this navy blue color. And these are um, Kenneth Cole. So I don't always pick up Kenneth Cole. Definitely not like Kenneth by Kenneth Cole, like any of the diffusion lines, but these are Kenneth Cole New York. So these are his main label. Um, I like the buckles in the back and let me see size. These are a nine M and 696 pink. So these were 350 as well. I'm seeing a trend, a lot of 696 price tags. All right, here's another pair of Steve Madden, just a simple pair of flats. I thought they would be cute in fall. They are a suede or a faux suede. But yes, they are leather upper, so a nice pretty suede. I think I remember these being really cheap. These are 9.5M and, oh, look at the bottoms. Look how cute that is. Yes, these were 3.93 green, so these were $2 for me. Next, oh my goodness, I love these. I had to get these. New Balance is great. Don't sleep on New Balance. Um, their kids stuff has sold well for me. Um, they are, I want these in my size. I'm a runner and I buy the shoes based on like the actual shoe, not the colorway because I, I need good shoes for running, but the colorway is just an added bonus if you can find one you like. And these are adorable. These were 292 yellow. However, I saw on the receipt that she rang them up as white, which is not the discount color. So I did pay full price for these, it looks like, but still $3. I can't, I can't, um, I can't complain about that. I did also run um, all my numbers already for my cost of goods. So after all my clothes and all my shoes, once I calculated everything out, my average cost of goods for the entire haul is like $3.60 per item, which is really great. Okay, moving on to Lucky Brand. Lucky Brand shoes are good sellers for me as well. I know we're moving out of spring, but with these prices, I just could not pass these up. I love like the crochet and then obviously the espadrille wedge. These are a size eight and a half, and these were $4.94 white, um, which white was not on sale, so I paid the full $5 for these, but that was worth it for me. Okay, these are a dated pair, but they are a really good designer. Um, they're, they're linked together backwards for me right now, but that is Stuart Weitzman. I found his shoes at the same thrift store, two of them. One of them was another pair of like classic black style pumps and they sold for like 60 some dollars for me. So I'm hoping these might do the same. Um, so yeah, they're kind of vintage style. However, with the square toe, they're kind of this like Y2K um, vibe. So hopefully they will sell. Um, they're in really good condition. They are leather and hopefully they have a size that's not rubbed off. Yeah, there is sizing back there, but it's hard to see in this light, so I'm not really sure. And these were marked 696 green, so those were 350. 
All right, let's get a pair of men's shoes. When I went over to the men's section, my cart was literally sky high already, so I had to be extremely selective because I could have come home with a cart just full of men's stuff. But I snagged these Nikes. I loved the blue suede on them, and the suede is in really good condition. This rubber, I will be able to um, clean up a little bit to get a little brighter white. And so these are the Hyper Feel. I will of course look up the exact style and all of that because that's right in the tag, which is very helpful. But these are a size 13, um, so very good size. And trying to find the writing. Yeah, these were 696 green, so these were 350 as well. Okay, these are one of the, my favorites that I got just because of the season we're going into for fall. Look how pretty these booties are. They've got this stacked block heel and um, these are born. There's the logo. It's going to be almost impossible for you to see in there. Oh, there you go. You can't actually see that. And Born has sold very well for me, especially um, genuine leather like these are. And these are in such great condition. Would be so cute in fall pictures. Put on like a frilly dress and like a hat or, you know, with a pair of jeans tucked into these or cuffed around. Um, these are size 9 or 40.5. And these, I think I remember paying up yeah these were 14 14 but they were pink so they were seven dollars and when i looked i did look them up just to verify that was worth it for me and it was indeed those are another one that i kind of wish they were in my size i might keep them or wear them once or twice but they are not um okay next is clark's um cloud steppers by clark's clark's are consistent seller for me between like 20 to 25 for flats and they're like boots booties sell even better usually in the 30 dollars range but these are leather they are a size 6d really good condition and they were 696 yellow so again 350 it's like everything i bought was 350 it feels like all right gotta have a nice pair of men's dress shoes these were the ones that I could have bought like 10 of them if I'd wanted to, but they're hard to store. They're big, they're clunky. So I think I picked one or two pairs that I found A, quickly and B, that were in great condition. These are Echo and these are in really, really nice condition. There's no like major flaws or scuffs, a really pretty like dark mahogany color. These are, let's see if I can find the size. These are size 43. And these were 696 green, so also 350. The other pair of men's kind of loafers that I got are these are Cole Haan. They and they're the Nike Air. And these are a size nine and a half M. I have like another pair of Cole Haan that I haven't. Do I have them listed? I don't remember. I can't remember if I've listed them or not. I have a lot of things to list, but I keep buying more things because it's hard not to, but I am getting caught up. I've been proud of myself recently. Um, these were $9.99 green, so these were $5, but that is certainly worth it to me. Those should sell pretty high, I think. And then these are perfect for the season, absolutely perfect. These are another Circus by Sam Edelman and look how pretty they are suede they are genuine leather they've got the circus logo right there i love the buckling and like the braided leather these are a size nine i don't remember what i paid for these these were another one that i did pay up a little bit 14 14 green so i paid seven dollars but again um especially when i average everything out like i said my average cost of per item is about three dollars and sixty cents so that is all my shoes but i while we're here, I know this is the shoe video, but I'll give you a sneak peek because I did find it three purses. Um, this is a nice little Steve Madden bag, little crossbody. This is genuine leather. I wasn't familiar with it, but I looked it up because it was super pretty, great condition. I could tell it was leather. I saw there was leather inside. So I looked up comps and this is Patricia Nash Italian leather and really really good comps there so we'll try her out this was $6.98 white so I paid the seven dollars for this but it was worth it I don't remember about the Steve Madden 
That was $6.98, but it was pink, so $3.50. This one is a 31 bag. It just looks like a carry-all or a travel bag. Even could be like a diaper bag. I'm gonna have to look up the exact style. It ended up being $3.50 with the sale. And I only have sold one 31 bag I got at the bins, but it sold well and it sold pretty quickly. So I'm just gonna try out another one and see what I think. Okay. Now that we have got all the haul done, I'm going to probably not right now. So I will again be in another outfit and I'll show you guys a little sneak peek into how I clean them, the supplies I use and how to photograph and we'll get all these listed. Since this is a shoe video, I figured I would share two amazing shoe sales this week that I am so excited about. The first one is these New Balance shoes. I actually got these from a neighbor who was giving them away. I was like, sure, I'll take them. I thought at first they might fit me, but they ended up not being my size, so I decided to list them. And man, these sold I think overnight, like in a day for a hundred dollars, that was an offer I accepted. I think I had them listed pretty high at like 150 because I wasn't seeing any available and there were some high comps, but I took this offer. I was so excited. And these are headed to Japan in the global shipping program. So that's my first global shipping sale. I'm very excited. The second is these Fry Oxford suede shoes. I paid up for these just a tad. I paid $15 at like a local private Goodwill. I had like a 50% um, off a single item coupon. They were listed at 30 and I snagged them for $15. And these just sold over on eBay. I had them listed at 115 and I got an offer of 100. Both of these were plus shipping by the buyer. So two phenomenal sales. I'm very excited. They were both new in box and yeah shoes are great. But anyway, so I'm at the next stop on my shoe kind of journey here. And yes, I have a laptop and I <laughs> have a desktop that I kind of have as my setup here on my desk. And that is because I like to list on my laptop right here and then watch YouTube videos on our desktop. <laughs> So don't judge me, but I have got my spreadsheet right here. This is actually a spreadsheet from Ginger Marvin. If you are not following them, I will link their YouTube channel down below. They are a phenomenal reselling family. Actually, that's them right there. That's Kathy from Ginger Marvin. They are fantastic. I have learned so much for them. Um, give them a follow over on Instagram and their YouTube channel. But they have a spreadsheet that is um, free to you or pay what you like. I absolutely would recommend if you use it to give them some money for everything they do for us in the reselling community. But it is free if you would like. I think you just have to put like zero into the little box when you go to download it. And I love it. I made some just minor modifications that work for me and my business, but it's fantastic. So right now I'm just going through and putting all the shoes in my spreadsheet and that's basically where I'm going to pull like the titles from the cost from um, so I'm looking up comps and doing all that stuff right now I like to get it out of the way so when I'm listing I already have all the information I need because I'm usually listing at like nights before bed like after kids go to bed and before I go to bed so I just want to be able to do it as quick as possible so if I can get kind of all like all the homework out of the way right now that's what I like to do so I'm going to put all these in my spreadsheet and hopefully it doesn't take me too long and I don't have too many kiddo interruptions. All right, so I've got my bin of shoes here. And firstly, remember, I am a part-time reseller. I've been reselling for less than a year. So you just make do with what you have. Let me show you really quick what I'm working with. Because if you think, oh, I don't have the space, I don't have the supplies, I don't have the whatever, you're, you're wrong. You can make it work. So let me show you. Okay, so what I am looking at, now that you're at my view, first of all, I have my ring light. Now, I did already have a nice ring light here from doing YouTube videos, so that was kind of a bonus. So I use that for my photography, which you'll see. I have some um, games that I need to list on eBay that I've been avoiding that I'm literally using as a stand for my camera. And then I have my cleaning supplies for like some of my clothes. We'll talk about the shoe ones. And then I just have this like flat lay here that I got on Amazon for doing like beauty photography over on Instagram. And I found that I love it for shoes. You'll see it in a bit. But when you use this folded like this, as opposed to like a flat surface of two things that come together, you'll see that it kind of like blends into the pictures. And I'll show you that when I do my pictures. But some staples here, a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. I actually like using this for a lot of my shoes. You just have to be really careful with it. The goof off, I'll show you that as we go. Um, things to pick stones out of the bottom of shoes as well as some leather protector something to clean the bottoms of shoes some basic goo gone for stickers and stuff 
So as you can see, you don't need anything fancy. We're sitting here in like a nook, like the corner of my living room. You can literally see my little bar area shelf behind me and this is what I'm working with and it, it works for me, I like it. I've got a few more shoes than what I even showed you originally because I've just like sacked them in and it's been like a day or two and I had some more that I needed to put in. Um, some of these I just threw straight in the washing machine. These came out super clean. Um, these ones came out really nice. You just want to make sure if you're doing that to not put them in the dryer. These were in a previous haul. I just threw these straight into the wash. These ones got put straight in the washer. Um, just don't put them in the dryer because that's going to be a disaster with these type of plastic shoes. But as you can see, um, I still have some little marks to get off here, like from the thrift store. So what I tend to do, and again, if you're doing this on anything expensive, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> But for these types of shoes that I have already tested, I know they hold up well. I'm just using some of this goof off with a little pad here. Don't use a lot and make sure, again, you test the type of shoe first. But usually, dun -dun -dun -dun, it comes off nice and clean from those like Sharpie markers for the thrift store that use those, which I find really handy. So now you don't have that thrift store marking right there um, let's try another pair here's these torrid shoes let's try that so as you can see that like red is coming off and this is a thrift store that i always have to do this at because they write directly on the shoes most of the goodwills around me put stickers and stuff um, also do be careful as i'm literally seeing it now if you're if you have nail polish on with this goof off because it will pull it off so i need that's a reminder for myself to be careful so that took that lettering right off of there so i'm going to go through and get all of those types of marks off but i'm also for shoes like these little vans aren't those adorable um as you can see along this rubber here I'm going to try to clean that white off. This usually works really well. Um, so you have like the dirt along here. This just cleans them right off. This is also really good for like Converse, like that have rubber lowers. I really like using this. Magic Eraser works well, but it always like crumbles. And I get really annoyed at it because I like to sit right here and do it for some reason. So. The amount of time that I can avoid being over my sink, like in my kitchen, I don't love taking all these shoes like in my kitchen to clean them. I will for the ones that really need it, but the ones that I can just sit here, put usually like set my phone up with a YouTube video and just clean some shoes is kind of therapeutic. I much prefer that. So let me show you. Here's this one kind of all cleaned up. Hopefully the lighting is going to show you. And here's the other one. So you can see how much nicer that cleaned. Anything that is like a, a genuine leather, I will usually put some leather conditioner on it to, to spruce it up really nicely. Any kind of sneakers that have rocks in the shoes, I will usually pick those out and then give it a nice brush with this. Some of them I will take in the kitchen and just clean off if they've got a lot of dirt. Like this one right here has a lot of dirt. So I'll probably go over to the trash can and knock that dirt out. So I better get to work and clean all these off.
cleaned up to the best of my abilities. And now I gotta get photographing them. So again, I'm just sitting here in the little corner of my dining room and gonna get them all set up. So I will pop up pictures here of how it looks as I am doing my pictures. It'd be, I was gonna like film me taking pictures, but <laughs> you guys would probably be bored to tears with that. So if for some reason you wanted to see that, write down in the comments and I'm very sorry. But you'll see here how having this paper like set up so that it's folded like that, it just blends seamlessly behind the shoe. You could do this with a piece of like, like the harder paper board, like, um, like, like what, like a fifth grader would do a project on. What, what's that? <laughs> What's that stuff called? But you could just fold it with white. White is a perfect background color. This happens to be like marble because that's what I use for a lot of like my Instagram product reviews. Um, but yeah, I think it works really well. I think the pictures turn out nice. I do use some of these little shoe holders sometimes as I need them. They are plastic. I got them on Amazon. They are pretty cheap. I don't necessarily recommend them. If you only want to spend a few dollars, sure. Um, however, there are some better shoe trees out there. Dealing with Dalton is a great shoe reseller on YouTube. I will link his channel down below too. And he actually sells some shoe trees that when the last ones of these break, I am planning on buying instead. But okay, too much talking. Let me get these shoes photographed so that I can start listing. So that officially brings us to the last part of the journey, which is actually getting my items listed. So the kids are both in bed. It is a Sunday night and this is my normal routine. I get them in bed and my goal is to usually list five items each night if I can. Sometimes I'll list more, sometimes I'll list less. Um, just doing what I can. So I'm not going to take you step by step through how I list things. If you guys want to see that, we can certainly do that in another video, but I do use a cross-listing software called List Perfectly. It works really well for me. It holds all my inventory and my pictures, and then I can get them listed over to Poshmark and Kitizen and eBay. So here up on my desktop, you will see I have my photos already input of some of the shoes that I still need to list. I will just go in and get those updated. And then I also have my spreadsheet here that I am pulling from. So you can see some of the shoes I've already completed and some other items, obviously a lot of the clothes I've been listing. But hopefully these sell quickly. Obviously the last stage of the journey is for them to sell and then to ship, but obviously that is an entirely different video and that is not what we're here for today. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. It's been fun. I hope that you maybe learned a little bit. If you have any tips for me, please put them down in the comments. I am still new. I am a part-time reseller and I am still learning and I would love to hear from you guys. If you found any value in this video, I hope that you'll give it a big thumbs up. Maybe consider subscribing to the channel. I've got a bunch of fun stuff upcoming and I'll see you next time. Bye.